Thank you for joining me. I am studying scripture. I'm taking time to read all the way through the Bible. I'm starting with the New Testament, with the Gospels, and right now I'm working on 1 Corinthians, which is Paul's letter to the Corinthians, his first letter, that is. The next two chapters that I'm in are a little shorter, so I'm going to read both chapters 2 and chapter 3 today. If you want to go back and check out my other videos, I've got all the Gospels, I've got Acts and Romans, so check out those playlists and please enjoy them. Be prayerful in studying Scripture. Pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you in your understanding because we're simple, we're human, we make mistakes, but God is infallible and there's a lot we don't understand about Him, but we can pray for understanding and wisdom. And pray for guidance from the Holy Spirit. So today, let's start with 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Christ crucified. Uh, and I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the ages of our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words, which man's wisdom teaches, but which is which the holy, the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing scriptural things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can they know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord? that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. Chapter 3 And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to carnal, as to babes in Christ. I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it, and even now you are still not able, for you are still carnal. For where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? For when one says, I am of Paul, another, I am of Apollos, are you not carnal? Who then is Paul and who is Apollos but ministers, through who you believed as the Lord gave to each? I planted Apollos, watered, oh, sorry. I planted Apollos, watered, but God gave increase. So then neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor, for we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, you are God's building, according to the grace of God, which was given to me. As a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. 
but let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become manifest. For the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work, of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built on, it endures, it will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone denies the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool, that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in his own craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. Therefore, let no one glory in men, <clears throat> for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come are all yours. And you are Christ, and Christ is God. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's scripture. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word.